Welcome friends to a new video here on Big Data News. In today's video, I'm going to explain the correct method to link a dual sense from PlayStation 5 with a PC and be able to play all our games. The method I'm going to explain today doesn't require any pirated software, hacks, tricks or anything complicated. And it's a method that will allow us to take advantage of the haptic vibration of this controller, the resistive triggers, and even the little speaker that comes included in this controller. Games compatible with this technology, which I'll explain now. If this is your first time watching my videos, I recommend subscribing to Big Data News. This channel covers news and events about PC gaming, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. In addition to doing these types of tutorials every so often, that being said, without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're going to need two things. The first, obviously, is a PlayStation 5 DualSense. It can be any DualSense. I have here the three models that have been released to date when I'm recording this video. And any of the three is the same because it's the same controller. Only the color changes. This time, we're only going to use the ROG. In addition to this controller, we're going to need one of two options, either a USB Type-C cable, which can be any USB Type-C cable you have, as long as it's of a reasonably decent category. Because if it's just a little charger cable, the connection might fail, or a USB Bluetooth connector. These types of USB Bluetooth connectors can be found on Mercado Libre, Amazon, or any technology store. It's simply a USB connector that gives us the possibility of having a Bluetooth port on our computer, if it doesn't already have one. Some computers already come with a Bluetooth port, like many laptops, and others do not. If you don't have a Bluetooth port on your computer, you need this little thing, which is upside down, this little thing. All right, the first thing we have to do is connect our Bluetooth USB to any USB port on our computer. Once we connect it, we're going to go down here to the Windows icon and then to the Settings Donut. Inside here, we're going to go to where it says Devices, and we're going to see an option that says Bluetooth Disabled. If when you connected the Bluetooth USB, this option didn't appear, try restarting the computer to see if it shows up. If it doesn't show up, try connecting to another port, because sometimes we can have a port on the computer that isn't working well. What we're going to do is turn on our Bluetooth, and that's it, our PC has a Bluetooth port ready to recognize our PlayStation 5 controller. The next thing we're going to do is press the PS button and this little button up here for 5 seconds and hold it until a light starts to flash. This flashing light indicates that our controller is now ready to be paired with the PC, so we go to the same Bluetooth screen that we left open. And we click on add Bluetooth or other device, and then the first option. We click on it and wait for it to recognize our controller. Once it recognizes it, we click on the wireless controller Y, and we get the notification that it is being set up. Our controller and the DualSense light has turned blue. It's already linked. Well, but this is not all. Why? Because while our controller is already linked and there will be games that we can play with the DualSense, the haptic vibration functions, resistive triggers, and the little speaker will not be available even if the game does support these functions. The correct way to use this controller with PC games is through Steam. So what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to go to the Steam page and we're going to install Steam. You don't need to spend money, we just need the Steam Launcher on our PC. I'll leave the page for you to download it below in the description. Once we have Steam installed, we're going to open the store's launcher. And we're going to make a small configuration that will allow us to use this controller correctly. The first thing to do is to go up here next to our username where it says Big Picture Mode and click on it. This will open a Steam browser that allows us to use our controller just like if it were an Xbox console or a PlayStation console. We're going to go up here to the little gear icon for settings and we're going to click there. 
If we can't click with the controller, we can still use the mouse. We're going to go to where it says controller settings and we're going to click on the box that says PlayStation controller configuration. This is very important because if not, Steam won't recognize this controller as it should. We click and down here should appear PlayStation 5 controller when Steam recognizes this controller as a PlayStation 5 controller. Here we also have other settings that for now we are not going to explain or touch. We go back, we go back again, and now we can navigate in our Steam library with our PlayStation 5 controller in a fully functional way. Browse our games and run any game from our Steam list with the DualSense controller of PlayStation 5. We can see that we can scroll without problem using the D-pad or using the analog that all the buttons work perfectly, that there is no compatibility issue. Well, if the game we are going to play on Steam has compatibility with haptic vibration functions, adaptive triggers, or the speaker, our controller will reproduce them because we are using the correct configuration. If the game we are playing on Steam does not have that compatibility or does not have those functions, our controller will not vibrate haptically, nor will it have resistive triggers, nor will it have another function. More than just a simple controller. Now here's another question. What happens if the game I want to play is not on Steam or I didn't buy it from this store? Well, there is a solution and there is a way to run the game with DualSense compatibility. What we have to do is very simple. We are going to use this game that I have here. The 2020, which is a roguelike 2D platformer. This one, I downloaded this game through the Epic Game Store. The thing is that Epic Game Store does not have full compatibility with DualSense. So I can't play this game with my DualSense. If I want to run it and play it with this controller, what I have to do is the following. I have to open the Steam Store launcher then go to where it says library and then scroll down to the very bottom where it says add a product here i'm going to put that i want to add a product that is not from steam it will open this screen where it tells me to select the product or game that is not from steam if i can't find my game here for example the 2020 that is not here i have to put in search there i will have to search where i have installed the game that i want to run with my dual sense for example, I have it installed on the E-Drive in games, and here I have the 2020. I open it and click on Add Selected, which you can see here. Here it is selected. I click on Add Selected. Immediately, my Steam library became 2020, even though it's not a Steam game. Immediately after, I return to Big Picture Mode. To be able to use my DualSense, I go to where it says Library and search for the game I just added. Here it appears. 2020 and I open it with the 10. In this way, I can use a game from the Epic Game Store that does not have compatibility with DualSense with my DualSense. Because I am running it through Steam. However, it still shows me the commands of an Xbox controller. But I can use my DualSense. And we can see that the controller has no compatibility issues with this game that I couldn't use before because I installed it from the Epic Game Store. It works perfectly and without any problems. Well, this is the correct way to use any PlayStation 5 controller on PC without having compatibility issues. Remember that any game you are going to run has to be run through Steam in the way I explained. I know that most of those who play on PC play and download games through Steam. But sometimes we download games from other stores like Epic Game Store or Good Old Game Store or many others that exist. Here's an important notice. All Steam games that you have downloaded through Steam that you use with this method will work without problems. Those from other stores or that you have downloaded outside of Steam, there are games that will work well and others that will not. For example, I have Tetris Effect which I downloaded from the Epic Games Store and it doesn't work with DualSense no matter what I do. Why? I have no idea. 
So you have to keep in mind that if you want to buy this controller to play on PC, if you are going to play games that are not on Steam, the thing might fail you. Look, your method didn't fail for today. No, my method is the official one. What happens is that there are games that do not support this controller. Now, if your question is, how do I connect these PlayStation 4 controllers to the PC and be able to play? I made a video about this topic a year ago. Check the first comment for the link if you need clarification. My recommendation is yes, the DualSense is a beautiful controller and it feels excellent in the hands to play. But nowadays it may not be the ideal for playing on PC. I still recommend the Xbox controller for playing on PC. While it doesn't have the haptic vibration functions, resistive triggers and all the story, it has total compatibility and it will never fail you. Maybe later, next year or the year after, when more games with haptic vibration functions and resistive triggers start to appear on Steam, maybe then it will be time to have one of these controllers to play on PC. But for now, I still recommend this one. The method with the little cable of the DualSense is exactly the same as I showed you now, just skip the Bluetooth part. Simply connect the controller via USB-C and that's it. If you have any questions that I haven't answered, please ask them down below in the comment box and we will answer them. If you like this video, please support it by leaving a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Also, I have a secondary channel where I play video games, which I'm going to leave down below in the first comment where we are testing new releases and playing on 10 box series 10 and PlayStation 5. I hope this video was helpful and easy to understand for everyone. Friends, I am Poro, this is Big Data News, and see you next time. And here are other videos about gaming, technology, and other things that you will be very interested in.